G'day guys, Matt here. Uh, another day of harvesting, hopefully. We're here at the block that we've been contract harvesting the wheat. Um, hopefully we'll get it done today. And yeah, then that means we'll probably have to go on with a bit of barley, which is next door. Um, yeah, there's, there's a few hundred hectares of that to do as well. So uh, then after that, uh, I, think, I think that'll be the end of our harvesting, kind of hopefully. Um, yeah, it's been a very long and drawn out harvest. Guys, if you like the videos, just keep hitting the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, yeah, we will get into it. Is a, a blow down, a grease, and a check over, got up with fuel, and yeah, back into it. Now, you might be able to see here this wheat, a lot of it's gone down. It, I'll see if I can, you can see a lot of it, or even some of it's nearly touching the ground, but we can pretty well get all of that. It's just slower, and you have to go lower with the front. And I mean, you can see out to the side there, we're not really leaving anything behind, but yeah, you just got to be paying attention. You always got to adjust the reel um, and yeah because if you have that too low it flicks it all up unnecessarily but when you do have down stuff you sort of have to have it low and it does all ball up like that but it's sort of not much you can do if it was all down you can get it looking nice or if it's all standing you can get it looking nice but um, when it's a bit of a bit of both it's very difficult to get it to feed properly we're probably doing 35 ton an hour instead of uh, probably 50 or more if, um, yeah, if it was all standing. So yeah, it's just different. Now, one of the problems with being on the header is I can't actually take footage of stuff that's going on and yeah, I can't, well, I could fly the drone, but it'd be hard to explain how I've uh, ran into a ditch or got bogged or whatever. Um, yeah, it wouldn't be a good look. So, now we've actually got a couple of things. The, we're having a run of gearboxes that are going now. So the little right angle drive gearbox on the little red chaser bin um, snapped a shaft in it. Um, we have one on the shelf to put into that, but in snapping that, it actually yeah, snapped one of the um, PDO shafts and yeah, bent it and did all sorts of things. So um, yeah, so that's down. Now, the other one that just happened is the Broma um, mother bin. So it's the new mother bin we bought. Well, new to us, it's a few year old, but apparently its gearbox is really toast. So yeah, there's oil pouring out of it and it's yeah broken shaft or something I suspect. Well guys, I've been kicked off the header to go and help fix some gear. So dad's just taken over for a bit on the header. And um, yeah, we've got a mother bin, a chaser bin, and a header all broken down at the minute. Not quite sure what's wrong with the other header. But um, it, yeah, there was a banging in the shaker shoe or something. So, suss that out. Yeah, and we've got the two gearboxes that are busted. So, we do have a shaft for the little red chaser bin. Um, but yeah, and I think there is a, gear, a whole gearbox for the mother bin in town. So, yeah, hopefully we can get them all sorted fairly shortly. So we're here with header number two. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna engage it slowly. both sides of this when we actually got the header so that is not not real cool 
anyway, stuff fails, I guess. in our diagnosis that is an extremely crook bearing and the most disappointing thing about it is we did this um, last year when we got the header so that was a brand new bearing um, and you can't actually we wondered whether there was a bit of um, preload on it which was which has caused it to, to fail prematurely but it's just a, a lay shaft basically so there's no no way you can put preload um, Anyway, we'll put a new one on and hopefully get back into it. Well, while we're waiting on the bearing for the header there, um, this is actually the gearbox off the mother bin. And you can see, it's not meant to do that. So it has catastrophically failed. Um, yeah, they had one of these in town, so we've got that on there. It should be nearly good to go. So the little red chasers over there, sorry for the bad view but it has got its own issues so that there has snapped off now because it's uh, such a big org of these drives we have had this shaft snap before and we're usually just very careful that we make sure we don't start it with any grain in the auger because if there's a heap of grain in the auger and you go to kick it into gear it just puts a lot of stress on these these shafts but we do have a spare one last time we did one we ordered another shaft as spare so we're just going to pull that apart and put it in there, put that back on there. So what that did when it failed was the upright auger there, it stopped, but the cross auger in the bottom there kept going. So it just jammed itself up. And then for some reason, the dog clutch didn't go off, but it did twist the PDO shaft quite substantially. We've got it all back together. Let's see if it makes any bad noises. That's looking a bit better. Well, we've got the new gearbox in here too. So that's should be good to go. We've got the little red chaser is uh, is back in action. But we're probably only got maybe half hour, an hour here at the contracting on this block we're doing. And then we'll be done. And then I think we do have some more um, contracting for another neighbor. So I think there's seven or 800 hectares to be done there. done here on to the next adventure so we do have to wait for the mother bins to be cleaned out um, yeah because I think we might be going on with barley so um, yeah and then we'll have to move them the property where we're going to is actually just next door to this one and yeah there's a fair bit to do there so we'll probably get into it sometime tomorrow I reckon well another morning here we're at the block that we finished up last night just got the Two mother bins here and uh yeah got to get them across um next door but we've still got a little bit in this broma so we're just going to finish unloading that and then we've got to try and um yeah pull it out 
So that is not real good. Obviously with all the weight on there, they just sink down into this soft dirt. But yeah, the little doits won't have a chance pulling this out. So what we might do is get um, get the triple truck to just hook onto it and we'll, uh, yeah, he'll give us a helping hand to pull it out, I think. Right, so harvesting's beginning down there on the barley. Um, so yeah, it's all going quite well, I think. But yeah, we actually don't have the little red chaser bin at the minute, it's off getting new injectors put in it. So um, yeah, we'll probably get that back in a day or so. But yeah, at the minute, the one chaser bin can keep up, so it's not too much of an issue. Um, but yeah, we, we did a valve adjustment on that um, 280 Versatile uh, before harvest, but it just, yeah, she's still just making a bit of a chuffing noise. So, um, yeah, we thought we better shout at a set of injectors. So hopefully that runs a bit better after that. But as you can see, we're here with the Rogator. That's the alternator that's got a crook bearing in it from last video. So we do have a new one here. It's a little bit different style, but it should bolt up, uh, yeah, bolt up fine and, and work. So yeah, we'll get started pulling that guard off to yeah get to it and then swap it out. Right, so this is the old one. Um, I pulled apart just to confirm uh, that the bearing was obviously stuffed and it is this is the front one it uh doesn't want to move but it hasn't damaged anything else so this one will be able to be rebuilt yeah, so with the new one that we got the um, terminals at the end were just not quite right i could get it to work if i extended cables and wires to it uh, which isn't a big deal but i'd rather not um so yeah what we'll probably do is just get two new bearings Rebuild this one and whack it back on and um, send the other one back or keep it as a spare, not sure. But this is a regulator for it and you can see here there's probably, oh, it's a bit over half of the brush life left. So I reckon this these are done 6,000 hours so it should be able to do another um, yeah, 5,000 or so at least with new bearings. So yeah, interesting. Have to send someone to town to get some bearings. Another job I've got to do is this is a boom support for the old housem, so a little grasshopper sprayer, and I've got to make a new one of them. This thing sits up on the side of the sprayer, it's at, at the other property, so I can't actually show you, but it sits up there like that, and then when you fold the boom up, it comes either side of the, of the machine, and it rests on that. So I've got to make a new one of them. Um, I'm thinking I'll just use this bit of plate, and yeah, bend it to fit. It's got to come out to about there, and I might put a little kick on it, just to help hold everything together. But yeah, that's, that's the next project. We got her done. I just got to give her a lick of paint. Um, yeah, hopefully that works. I don't have the machine here, so all I'm going off is that and adding about 10 inches to that. So, see how it goes. But yeah, I just cut that there, bent that up a little bit, and welded, filled that in with weld. And that way, um, yeah, it's just got a little rise there. It might just help stop the boom from walking out when we're traveling with it. Now, I don't have any. Um, green paint but I do have some of this New Holland stuff um, for the headers 
and yeah it's a dark gray but uh, yeah it's a really good thick paint it's an enamel paint so yeah it takes a while for to dry but it's really really solid once it sticks on there yeah so what i'll have to do now is let phil take that down to the house and sprayer and then he'll call me up and tell me it doesn't fit but anyway that's the best i could go with guessing so that there so you can see there where it's torn off from the hole the second hole there um but yeah that should should be right all right bearings just arrived um now and again i said this in another video i think two videos ago maybe when i rebuilt an alternator like that but i do actually have a video um uploaded of how to rebuild an alternator it is a different alternator but more or less they're they're all the same it's um very similar principles so if you want to ch uh, interested in that check that out i'll put a link in the description and in the top corner just there um but yeah otherwise i'll get cracking here get this all back together well guys we've got a few things back running again at least so that is great um but that'll probably be it for this video so thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one